what's going on people my name is Terrell Andretti and I'm the Narc's nemesis for those of y'all that are watching me on YouTube make sure you like comment and subscribe to the channel it helps YouTube's algorithm pick up this content and send it out to more people somebody liked it for you so make sure you like it for somebody else also if you need a one-on-one -on -one, the link is in the description if you want to donate to the channel the link is in the description uh, make sure y'all go check out my new single superstition uh, it's here available on the channel and it's also available on all streaming platforms it is a pop song about my narcissistic experience and me overcoming it and i think it'll be a great listen for you guys share it with a friend use it on tiktok uh repost it on your social medias uh, one favor that y'all can do for me for giving y'all this content is help me push that song out because y'all have the power to because I'm almost pushing 20,000 of y'all so I really want y'all to help me push that song out because song means a lot to me and it features a voicemail of my ex narc trying to hoover me and I ain't going for it and also probably at the end of the month maybe beginning of next month i'll have a surprise for y'all relating to that song so stay tuned but uh anyway today i'm going to talk about knowing your worth a lot of times we get so caught in our emotions because we done dealt with so much the narcissist done stripped us of our confidence and stripped us of our self-awareness they've taken away our support system and they have left us with nothing and the reason all this stuff works is because they make you forget who you are they make you forget um, what you've done they make you forget what they've accomplished and what, what you've accomplished, I'm sorry, somebody called and it kind of threw me off. They make you forget what you accomplished and who you really are. And we get so caught up in, uh, somebody um, commented yesterday on one of my videos and it said, what does it mean when a narcissist tells you to stop contacting them? And I mean, the answer is simple, stop contacting them motherfuckers. That's a basically a soft discard. Um, and I know it's probably out of the blue and it's probably abrupt and it probably there, there's no reason that you can think of behind it but the thing y'all gotta remember is when somebody shows you that they don't want you they don't want you around they don't want to be bothered with you they act like you're a hindrance they act like the world to be a better place without you in it or whatever the case is make them motherfuckers stand on that don't ask why because i'm gonna tell you what you know you're a good person you know you gave that person nothing but love you know you gave that person nothing but admiration you know you gave that person nothing but generosity. You done helped them pay bills. You done helped them raise badass kids that ain't yours. You done been a stepmom. You done been a stepdaddy. You done built steps in the house. You done did all that shit. You know you were good to this individual. That is your answer. You know you did good by this person, so don't ask why, and I, I know it's human nature, but don't wonder why. Oh, well, why won't they accept me? Is there something wrong with me? Is there something wrong? Fuck them. And I know that's easier said than done, but sometimes the answer is knowing you did your job. And whatever else wasn't um, enough or whatever, that's on them. And I know human nature is we want to know the answers, we want to know why, and it's cool, but don't keep yourself in a situation trying to figure those answers out. 
what you do is you let them go on about their business. And I know it's I know it's easier said than done. I know it's hard. Let them motherfuckers stand on what they showing you because a lot of people walking this earth are bullshitting. And they think everything's a fucking game. Me, I'm 32 years old. I ain't got time to play with nobody. It's either we doing this or we're not. So if you're showing me you're more on the not side, I'm gonna not fuck around with you. And a lot of us, we'd be so scared to be alone, so scared to not have these individuals because we're lacking purpose ourselves. And I'm gonna tell you something about life. Life has a funny way of working itself out and God has a funny way of showing up when you think nobody is there. Because all these people that we be trying to hold on to and it can be friends that you didn't have for 20, 30, 15 years, your friends from high school, your cousin that you grew up with, your grandma that ain't really your grandma but she old and y'all been hanging around each other or whatever the case is, they know your mama or whatever the case is. We be so scared to lose these individuals. And if you step back, really, what is the reason that you're scared to lose them? Because if you just sit back and start weighing what people have done or contributed to your lifetime, to your life, and you really add it up, the answer is nothing. The only thing people could, a lot of people have contributed to your life is somebody to do something for. I'm gonna say that again. The only thing that people have done to contribute to your life is being somebody to do something for. You ain't received nothing if you really sit back and gauge everything. You haven't received anything. And I'm not I'm not saying base your relationships off of if you receive something from somebody i'm not saying that at all but what i am saying and what i stand on is base your relationships on not only if you're pouring into them but are they pouring into you because a lot of us have just have placeholders too we're just not narcissistic oh well, i got them around because i know when i need somebody to talk to i can i can talk to i can call them but half the time, they spend the time talking about their goddamn self or they not even listening to you. You going out your way to do this for this person, buy this for this person. You buying the drinks all the time. That person ain't bought you shit. Nah, you need some friends and some relationship partners and some family members that's going to do something for you every once in a while. Not that breadcrumb shit. You deserve somebody that looks at you the way you look at them. Not this narcissistic shit, oh, I might get good from this person today and I might get shit, but whatever it is, I'm just happy to have somebody to get something from. No. And I'm gonna tell you like, the most time, like when you're getting ready to level up in life or to level up in life, period, sometimes you have to be by yourself because those people that you think are allies, they're really in the fucking way. They really in God's way. That's why he keeps showing you over and over again why they don't need to be there. If somebody is not supposed to be in your life, God will not allow you to have any peace with that person. And if you look back on a lot of these relationships that you're coveting so bad, you haven't had any consistent peace with this person. They've been sprinkling a little peace here, sprinkling a little cooperation here, sprinkle a little sex here sprinkle a little submission here. Nah, that ain't, we, we not doing that sometimes shit around here. You either all in or you're not. Stop settling for pieces of people because you're so desperate to give somebody a piece of yourself. Nah, you either all in or you can kick rocks, hit the bricks, make like a tree and leave, whatever you want to say. You got to get the fuck from around me. 
because I'm not finna be putting my heart and soul into relationships with individuals and I'm just getting a fragment of that back. See, when you on your purpose and you on your grind and you focus and you align with God, you realize how much time you don't have to waste. Life is too short to be spending around indecisive people. She loves me, she loves me not. He loves me, he loves me not. I don't give a damn. I'm gonna make up your mind for you. I won't be an option. A lot of y'all need to have that same mindset because people keep making y'all options. I'm not a option, I'm the option. Numero uno. And it's not being self-centered and it's not being conceited. It's having some kind of pride about yourself. It's having some kind of uh, self-confidence, some kind of self-awareness. Stop playing yourself like you second place. Stop settling for somebody's maybe. I'm not so Saturday night special. Some of y'all need to take that same, that same energy that you want to pour into this narcissist so bad and pour into yourself. Some of y'all have kids that are watching y'all constantly go through this bullshit with them and you don't know it because you're so wrapped in your emotions, they're suffering because they're not getting a full mother. They're not getting a full father because you're not in the state of mind that you're supposed to be in. I know because I've been there. Get yourself together before you don't have anything to get together. Because the narcissist is not going to wake up one day and just magic magically have mercy on your existence. They're going to burn you out. They're going to deplete you. They're going to burn you up until you ain't got shit left. Do not think you're going to get to the point where, oh, well, if I show them how badly I'm hurt, or if I show them how badly they're affecting me, that it's going to click. It's not. That's just going to make them turn the fuel up. They do not operate like regular people, so stop expecting regular from them. You are dealing with a demonic psychopath. A jackass supreme with extra cheese. A moral moron. Stop expecting regular from them. A lot of people are waiting on, oh, well, I got to wait on the right time. It ain't no right time to leave because you're never going to be emotionally prepared for it. It's just something you got to do. This channel here is not to teach you how to survive with your narc. I am teaching you how to destroy these motherfuckers. Not how to coexist unless you got kids with them. Other than that, you need to discontinue and disengage. Take your emotions out of your ass and put them up. Because your emotions and your ego are holding you up. Know your worth. Some of y'all are, I'm not going to say some of y'all, y'all are some beautiful ladies. Y'all are some handsome men with great qualities, great talents is somebody out there for you but take a look to your left and take a look to your right whatever side that jackass is standing on it ain't them get rid of them y'all make sure y'all like comment subscribe and stay your ass off their social media you thought you got away didn't you like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you need a one-on-one, -on -one, link is in the description. If you want to donate to the channel, link is in the description. Another day, another way. And you ain't got to listen, but I know you heard me.